And it is autumn, our most favorite season. It is not scorching outside anymore, like in July and August, and you can actually enjoy your walk through the city, but only if you are well-dressed, because traveling to Prague in autumn is like visiting an episode of Game of Thrones, when you experience the heat of the King's Landing and the freezing temperatures of the lands of always winter. So we decided to divide our video into three parts to show you three different outfits for September, October, and November. Let's go. September weather in Prague is warm but rainy. A lot of blogs will recommend traveling to Prague in September, and I agree, it's a good time, but it's not quite autumn yet, meaning everything will be pretty much green still, like in summer. Last year, when we traveled to Krivoklat in the middle of September, it was really hot, almost plus 30 degrees Celsius, basically summer. But just a week later, when we were shooting a video about Nusle Bridge, it was already plus 14 degrees Celsius, and and I had to wear a sweater and a jacket. So trying to guess the weather in Prague in September is like trying to win in a lottery. Right now it's September as well, and as you can see, I'm not wearing any warm clothes, but I do have to have this, <laughs> an umbrella. Don't even think about showing up to Prague in autumn without the umbrella. It is the number one thing you will need here, and possibly a rainproof jacket. Okay, actually, I might need this umbrella now. How convenient. October will welcome you into an autumn wonderland. The parks will be colored with red and yellow leaves. The mornings will be foggy and silent. And your best accessory on your city walk will be a cup of a hot beverage. October is my favorite month, but it's also because I like the spooky season. Last year, in the middle of October, we visited the scariest place in Prague, and dare I say in the Central Europe, it was the abandoned cemetery of Bohnice Mental Asylum. And besides the diapers, I had to wear the long sleeve, a jacket, scarf, and a pair of warm boots, because we were shooting the whole day and I had to keep myself warm. It was not cold enough to wear a hat, but when we traveled to Tabor and Chesky Krumov in the end of the month, it was already super chilly outside, especially in the morning. In the mornings, it was around plus five degrees Celsius, and the temperature would rise towards the middle of the day by around 10 degrees, but it was not in the 20s already. So I was wearing hat, gloves, really warm jacket, and of course, socks and boots. So if you're traveling to the Czech Republic in October, definitely don't bring any lighter jackets or any fabric sneakers, because they won't protect you from cold and rain. We just realized that these pictures look exactly like our cats. So this would be Suvi and this would be Bibi. I will tell you a secret, guys. Our last year's video about how to dress for Prague winter was filmed in autumn, not in winter. Yep, we filmed it in the end of November. So that should tell you that the weather in November is basically the same as in winter. Don't even think that the autumn will last till November. November is considered to be a winter month. Last year, we filmed a video about Second World War history in the middle of November. And as you can see, I wore a sweater and a long coat, but I was freezing because the temperature was below plus 10 degrees Celsius and the wind was really cold. The northern wind usually comes in November and stays all the way through winter up until the beginning of spring. So when you're looking at the temperature, even though it is still in the plus 10, plus 8 degrees Celsius, the wind will make it feel much, much colder. So make sure to bring your winter jacket, which is rainproof and windproof, sweaters, long sleeves, hat, gloves, and winter boots. Okay, let's go to our next stop. From our experience, the biggest mistake that tourists make when they pack for autumn is that they don't expect the weather to change a lot during the day. But that's what's happening in autumn. It can be plus 9 degrees in the morning and then plus 20 degrees during the day. So when you're leaving for the day, dress for both temperatures, <laughs> not just uh, the warmer one. A lot of people don't do that and they leave their hotel room, it is too cold, so they end up coming back and skipping the tour, the cruise, and whatever they had on their bucket list that day. You will not get the full experience in Prague if you don't dress well for the weather. So uh, keep that in mind and we'll see you in our next video. Good luck.
nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Filming at the Charles Bridge. It's a joy. Joy. <coughs> Careful. You saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> September weather in Prague is warm but rainy. That's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, what is after this? Right now it's also September and as you can see I'm not wearing any warm. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. I, I like stopped and then I was like, oh, that's awkward. I have to walk away. 